We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. What's up? It's Abram. Yeah. I am walking to the train station, like I always am. Uh, today I'm going to meet up with some friends. We're going to go check out some festival in Narita. I don't know what to expect. I don't even know what kind of festival it is. I texted somebody, said, hey, what are you doing? They said, we're going to a festival. And I decided to join them. Well, they invited me. I wouldn't always just, you know, invite myself, even though most of the time I, I do that anyways. But yeah, that aside, that's what we're going to do today. But I wanted to take a minute. Oh, check out this park. Yes, it's kind of boring. It's just a grass patch, but they're everywhere in Japan. And uh, that's one of the things I really like when I need a peaceful moment. I can take a walk out to a park leave my cell phone, leave everything at home, and just relax and clear my mind and think about whatever it is I want to think about. So, yeah. All right, well, somebody asked me to make a video about why I left the US. It's not what you think. It really isn't. Um, I left because I was feeling as if I were, ohayo gozaimasu. I was feeling as if I were stuck in a rut and uh, I needed some adventure in my life. I felt like I wasn't growing as much as I should have been. And part of that, I think, was financial. I wasn't saving any money. I wasn't doing anything. I was treading water. I'd take two steps forward to go one step back. And that's kind of part of what it was. So that's kind of reason number one on why I left. to do something very different. I wanted to go someplace I've never been before where nobody knows me, I don't know the language, just to kind of challenge myself to become a little bit bigger and better of a person. Um, so far, it's working. I've been here for about four months. I speak a little bit of J Japanese. I understand a lot more than I can speak, um, but uh, I'm working on learning that. I'm also working on talking to people and even without communicating with the same language, learning how to relate to people, make friends, and uh, find what really what people really value, and uh, try to live up to those expectations in myself, and also try to share my culture while learning about theirs. Uh, so that's number two.
よ。ちょっと外ね。はい、行くぞ、出るぞ。So I found out what the festival is that we're at. It is the 1080th anniversary of the founding of Narita-san. So check it out. So that explains the parades and everything. So we're hanging out, checking it out. See you guys soon. Reason number three why I decided to leave the US. I wanted to live among a culture to get to know it. Like actually get to know it, not know about it or anything like that. Moving to Japan, I have gotten into the culture. I'm starting to go to festivals. I'm starting to go to just events, kind of like today,、uh, where I get to look at different things, different areas,、uh, meet different people, and talk to different play- people and places, learn different things. Whereas if I were in America, I'd get like maybe the watered down version of this, and I wouldn't truly get to experience the things. 